I read your comments. I love your comments, okay? I want you to comment because it gives me, do you see that? Do you see that? Was that a carp? I didn't see it, did you see it? One of my subs asked me, why don't you do a video on your top five John Boat accessories, not essentials, I already did that. We're doing accessories, like what do I love the most on my John Boat, narrow it down to five. And we're not talking about like motors, graphs, trolling motors. We're talking about accessories like add-ons, stuff that's handy for me. I'm gonna put the boat in because them fish are out there jumping. I don't know what they are. Water temperature could be 40 degrees. It could be 54. You never know. Stupid weather. <laughs> What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in for another Dude Let's Fish video. And here's the, here's the thing, right? I, I just wanna start out by saying thanks for the support. Thanks for following me, liking me. I just hit like 4,000 subs a couple weeks ago and I'm already up to like 4,200. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Another thing on that too is, you know, I read all the comments. I read the comments, the negative, the positive, keep them coming. I read the comments and I try to get all the requests that I get. This one request that I got uh, a couple weeks ago, I don't know what video it was on, but somebody was like, hey, can you do like, what is your top five accessories in your John boat? I've already did the essentials, like a must have, toilet paper, you know, stuff like that. Accessories is something that you really don't need, but you, you have. Really don't need this stuff, but I have it. But then I figure out that I really do need it because then I get accustomed to using everything in here that I have. So in no order whatsoever, and I'll let you know if something is my favorite, but I'm not gonna start in order. So I'm, the first thing I'm gonna mention is my Yeti bags. These Yeti bags right here, yeah, they're a little pricey. They're like 50 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that. But they're totally waterproof and they're made, I don't even know what they're made for, but they have you know, a little Velcro, then they have a magnet deal right here. And actually, when I get on the boat, I put my keys in there. And you know, most of the time my cell phone or my wallet and stuff like that, I've got chapstick in here as well. Um, any like little GoPro accessories that I have, any, anything that'll fit in here that I don't want to get lost, I really don't know what these things are designed for I don't know if they're for kayaks or whatever but what I did was it had like a, a strap on the back that you could pull through like a backpack or maybe attach it to a kayak or something I don't know so anyway I cut the straps off to where I had this velcro deal and now it just sticks to the side of my john boat and no I did not buy these little yeti bags which are waterproof and you can see they're, they're holding air I didn't buy them for me I bought them for my daughters because we had kayaks and they needed something waterproof to keep all their stuff in, their cell phone, this and that. So if they flipped, this would float and hopefully they could grab onto it and float down the river. So they never used them. So I took them, I confiscated them and uh, made them my own. And just like I said, I cut those straps off and now it just kind of sticks to the side of the John boat and it's like little pouches, like little saddle bags. And I've got two daughters, so I have two Yeti bags. That's accessory number one. And then I would have to say that number two is going to be my little TH Marine tackle keepers, lure keepers. Uh, actually, it's called the Tackle Titan. Like, I love these little things. As you can see, you can put like jig heads on there, like little crappy hooks, jigs, crankbaits. But if you're not careful, they got them little magnets. See, like a little magnet deal right there. I have another one on this side. So I've got one here and then I've got one over here. And I'll widen this out so you can see that's, uh, that's them right there. Yeah, you pretty much get them anywhere and they're very easy to install. They come with like two wood screws or whatever. You just pop them in. If you have a fiberglass boat, they, have, they come with like a 3M adhesive. So it's got like a sticky back, you peel it off pop it up against the fiberglass so you don't have to drill holes and that stuff really holds. I had carpet on mine, I don't care. It's a, you know, it's 10, I have a 10 killer. So I screw this thing all over the place. The only downfall on the Tackle Titans is that you will overload them because 
you know, it's like you go fishing and you're tearing off soft plastics, they get ripped up, you're catching fish, whatever, you throw them in your floor. These hold crankbaits and they usually get full with either jigs, crankbaits, and like hooks because they'll hold them. You don't, you don't feel like putting them back in the tackle box, although you're getting something else out of your tackle box. You just kind of put it on there and let it, let it hang for a bit, let it dry out. So that's number two. Yeah, and then of course, number three, this might be a must have. This might be the top one. John Boat Essentials number three is the flush mount troller motor, troller motor. Why can't I say troller motor? Is the recessed troller motor pedal tray. That one was about 180 bucks. This one's a little pricey. You don't have to pay that much for it. Uh, this one has a place to hold my pliers, scissors, pliers. Hey, I'm holding my pliers. It's got a cup holder. And you know, the thing is about the cup holder, I was like, yeah, I can put my waters up there, you know, if I want to have a beverage and I, you know, whatever. It must be 21. <laughs> but you know, the cup holder just fills up with lures, just like the tackle tighten. It just fills up. If you have somewhere in your boat that you can put something, trust me, it's going to get full. You know, this was a custom job. Like I, I painted this purple and the trolling motor pedal fits down in there just right. These things are really good because it takes a lot of stress like off your knees, off your back, foot on your trolling motor pedal like Captain Morgan. And, uh, but yeah, this is like a must have for any John boat or boat. Like it doesn't have to be a John boat, just, just a boat. That takes a little bit of work to install. It's not super hard. If I can do it, anybody can do it. I just took like a drill with a big bit. Dr I got a video, right? I'll put the link like wherever, I don't know where they, like up here maybe. And I just took a drill bit, drilled a hole and then had a, I think it was a sawzall is what they call it. No, it was a jigsaw and just jigsawed around it like a puzzle, like a jigsaw puzzle. Doesn't matter if you, cause I can't cut straight. It's perfect cause it covers up all your bad uh, carpentry skills. And you just screw it down and you know, run your wires up through the bottom and you're good to go. That's probably my favorite uh, accessory that I have. Recessed trolling motor pedal tray. Got it at Tackle Warehouse. I'll put all the links down below. Then I would have to say another accessory that, um, that I got that I really love, might be coming at number two, is my lights. The lights, my um, LED strips on the inside of my gunnel in the front of my John boat. I have an LED light in my storage box up there. And then I have an LED light. It's not a strip. It's like a little TH Marine light that you can get They're They're cheap. Then I have one back here at the motor. But no, I mean, it's just a cool effect to have that light under the water and you can kind of see the bubbles. And it's like, dude, look at that John boat. Man, he's got freaking LEDs on it. It's kind of cool. It is cool. It is cool because I'm kind of cool sometimes. So all these LED strip lights inside the boat and even like the little round ones, which I'll show you, they came from Tackle Warehouse or no, I'm sorry. They came from TH Marine as well. Um, and they're, they're super cheap. They're not anything, you know, the hardest part on those is running the wire from your battery up. So the front of the boat, I have my nav lights and I got them off Amazon for like 20 bucks. They're still going. They've been on there for probably a good year and a half, two years. I don't know how long have I had this boat. That was a good deal. I'd figure they'd be kind of cheap, but they, you just peel them off and stick them to them. The little uh, lights, the TH Marine lights on the inside, the little strip lights, same thing. It's got a 3M adhesive strip on the back. You just pop it on there and you're good to go. And my next accessory that I absolutely love and is a must, is a must, is my water bottle holder. Okay, this thing is very high tech. I spent a lot of time building this, working on it. It takes two screws and I'm just kidding. That's where my fire hydrant, <laughs> that's fire, what is a fire, like a fire hydrant something. That's where my fire extinguisher used to go, but now um, I have to get another one because, who is this? But no, I had a fire extinguisher there, but, 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 I was deep frying some fish on this new uh, fish fryer that I got. And things got out of hand a little bit and it caught on fire and um i had to uh come out to my john boat and get my fire extinguisher and put it out it was outside thank god but you know it was uh but i'm just kidding that's not really that's just a little bon bonus yeah um yeah so number five or whatever uh, another accessory that i must have 
is my radio. I've got a Boss Marine kit. I got this off Amazon. It's like 60 bucks. It's got two six and a half inch with Primo freaking tweeters, okay? Remember the tweeters? So, that has a detachable face. It's the Gamagatsu edition um, radio. And all I want it to do is like play the radio and play music off my phone. Some people don't like to fish and listen to music. I love it. Swindle loves it. I love practicing with Swindle and filming because he loves to listen to music all day long. Doesn't matter. That's pretty much my top five John Boat accessories for me that I like. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the bass on these, but it's like if I crank, let me crank it up a little bit. That's badass. I love fishing, listening to music. You'll catch more. It's like a hydro wave that you can actually enjoy. Thanks for watching. Please sub if you haven't. Catch me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Hey, what's your top five accessories in your John boat? Or your boat, it doesn't matter. Comment down below. You got any more suggestions you want me to do on videos? Comment down below. Until next time, you know the deal. Flippity flop, flu flop, flee. Catch you on the flip flop.